Wait, how'd you get pulled over, Ted? Your car is really slow. <laughs> Did you feel good about it? Or you like? Yeah, I felt good about it. <laughs> Why? Why? Guy pulled me over. He said, "He's like, I really needed to check out your car." Oh, really? He says, "I see it says RX7, but who makes it?" What? <laughs> like this is a Mazda? Wait, he so he just pulled you over to check out your car? Yeah. Yo, real talk. Is that kind of? Up. Is that up? A cop wastes your time. He scares you first. Yeah. You're like, oh my god, I'm gonna have to go to jail or whatever. And he's like, hey, JK, I just want to check out your car. That's where Hey was wrong. You know, Hayward for a fact has some illegal shit in his car. Because what's the first thing he says when a cop pulls him over? Oh shit, I'm going to jail. That's some illegal shit. I'm just saying, if a cop pulls you over just to check out your car, he should have a specific sign that goes, hey, hey, woo. The only thing this thing comes with is the carbon fiber option on the front. That's it. Dude, we have two LC500s. <laughs> we actually tend to usually get things here in pairs. You've never seen this yellow before on an LC500. It's almost like a Pikachu yellow. You know that's not Pikachu yellow. It's like a... It's like a cream yellow. It's, yeah, it's, mm, it's like, a, like a butter orange. I don't even know. I don't even know what to do. What the fuck is a butter orange? <laughs> custard yellow. Yeah, dim sum? Like the dim, the dim sum custard? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We got the dim sum custard yellow LC500. <laughs> yeah. Even the dim sum has like that little like shiny flake of that like creamy custard inside mm. it, you know? Oh, I want to take a bite. We're gonna go do a detail on it because all the little trim pieces we see that are like super, you know, messed up. We're gonna like all pink correct that, get it H1, and then we're gonna literally PPF the whole car. Then we're gonna chrome delete this, this, and then those. And then coat the whole car. Get rid of just the chrome on the top to match this, which makes sense. Almost curry? Definitely not curry. Like, like chutney? Ooh, that would be a good name. Chuck. Guys can't really tell, but there's light swirl marks and scratches everywhere, so we're gonna try to remove that as much as possible. It's more obvious in the black pieces than yellow, but it's pretty much on the entire car, so this will help make it a little bit shinier before we actually seal it in with the film and do a coating on top. I'm hoping the camera can capture this, but the paint looks so much clearer now. It's liquidy looking. Even though the yellow hit a lot of the scratches, we can definitely tell how much it had just based on how much better it looks now. The black pieces are also a lot clearer now too. The whole car is now wrapped in PPF, so all that paint we just did should get preserved for years, and the coating on top is going to give it that new car shine every time it gets washed. Chrome deleting some of the trim pieces got rid of some of that disconnection we had before with all the different colors on the car. The yellow, the black, the gray the chrome now it looks more uniform and sleeker especially on the top it has more of a panel roof vibe now that is all black brand new tesla model y we're going to be clear brawling the entire vehicle the whole car from bumper to the back bumper and we're also going to be tinting it as well so let's get started with the process get out the way Haywood. stop being so mean to me The best time to clear by your car is immediately after you get it because the paint will only look worse in time. Being this is a new Y and now that all the panels are protected, it's going to stay looking like this for years. Two of my favorite qualities about ClearGuard Alpha, the film that we use, is how glossy it makes the paint look and how hydrophobic it is. You can see all the metallic flakes pop from the paint, so honestly it looks even better than factory. But the best part is the water beading. Built into the film is this hydrophobic top coat, so water just beads right off of it, making your car easier to clean and it looks really cool. And last but not least, we finish off the entire project with photo sync window tint on all the windows. Size and back are 30, big sunroof and the front windshield are 70 so that way it's still nice and clear. The ultimate window tint for maximum interior comfort. I present to you our next final wrap project, Dodge Ram 1500. Sean, what color are we doing? Purple, bro. Really? 
Whoa, we are doing a lot of this purple, aren't we? This is our third purple wrap car. That's gonna be pretty neat, especially with the wheels. The wheels are like a brushed aluminum. It's gonna be clean. It's gonna be a pretty drastic color change, right from purple. So first things first, like usual, we're gonna go with the disassembly and get things taken off and we'll get a perfect, clean wrap around. <gasps> I didn't break anything. Okay, no one needs to hear that. So the thing with wrapping a white car is that you gotta make sure the white doesn't show because it's white to be very obvious. That's why we're taking so much apart is because we're trying to cover that as much as possible. So if you decide to get a wrap job done, make sure you talk to your installer that you want this done. Otherwise, you might still see white in certain areas. It's a little bit more of an investment, but it's worth it if you want to have that nice overall one color look. Okay, so after a long time of just pure disassembly, we've got a lot of it off. So the full front bumpers are off, the grills off, the chrome trims around the headlights, badges off, fender flares are off, the door handles. Finally, we can start on the actual wrap process on this thing. Okay, never mind, guys. I thought we were done taking apart the car. We we're trying to take apart the bed so we can wrap the white spaces between the bed and the, the cab. We're gonna try to get to this part, but it's gonna take some time. So as you can see, it's a lot of freaking work. We haven't even started wrapping yet. This is just the removal process. Now, keep in mind, not everyone does this. If you ever get your car wrapped, make sure you understand exactly the level of detail that's gonna be happening with your project. So I forgot to record this, but we did remove it, as you can see. You just gotta imagine it's going Dustin, how's it feel? You get to see the back of a truck. Like, you normally don't get to see this view here. I see this all the time, bro. I worked at the truck superstore. Hey, no fucking free promotion. Not just the regular truck, the superstore, bro. I saw, I saw everything. So does this like bring back vibes and memories for you, like good ones? Back when you had hair, maybe? Most of the time I didn't have hair there. Damn, sorry, dude. What's going on? I brought my one of my studios here. Yo, make a oh, that's a cool speaker. To get the that sounds pretty good. Tomorrow, Sean brings another speaker. After Actually, he brings. The next morning. Holy! Did that speaker have sex with another speaker and have a gigantic baby? It's growing. It's about the big boys. <laughs> Is that why you're filming me? Every day, you should bring a bigger speaker. Guy <laughs> <laughs> had a dream to be a DJ. <laughs> Club and you have that club music just beating in your ear all day, all night, and you're like, okay, it's time to go home. I love it. Yeah, that's his life, I Dustin. Love it, bro. It's life. And we're right. back to that. Okay, are we gonna get a tall one like this? Like, right yeah, here? hey, what's that's gonna be the fourth one I bring? Because you gotta go for the numbers, right? He made $3,000 in two years. <laughs> Hey, you know what, DJ Sean Yeh is not a thing anymore? <laughs> DJ Sean. Because he went broke buying all that music equipment. Ah! No white, baby! I wouldn't have guessed in Nozatex Midnight Purple would be your most popular rap color, but I can definitely see why it is. There's a bunch of purple raps out there, but none like this. This is our third one, and it still amazes us with how deep the color looks. It really does look like paint being how clear it is. One of the more in-depth projects considering how much had to come off the truck before we start wrapping, like the bed had to come off. But look how clean everything looks now. No white in sight, and all the edges are nicely tucked underneath. And to finish up the whole project, we also smoked out the tail lights. So they're a little bit darker, which is what we're going for, but 
which looks perfect with the purple. Can't wait to see what the client thinks and this is definitely going to be a head turner. It's always so cool to see clients that excited about a project once we're done with it. Just them being able to appreciate the amount of time and work we put into it is always a good feeling. So it's really cool to experience that with them and to be able to deliver to them their dream car, I guess you can say. They're like, oh my God, and you're like, oh my God, and everyone's like, oh my God. They cry, we cry, we all cry. Socially distanced, of course. But anyways, guys, that's it for the vlog. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to work on your car, so hit us up at contact info. It's in the description down below. On to the next project. We will see you guys next time.